should we pick Bob Saget, who raped and killed the girl in 1990? <laughs> well, first of all, it's not true. It's not true that Bob Saget raped and killed a girl in 1990. How do you make an ass hurt? The Olsen twins say, well, Bob Saget hands you a chocolate milk that he just made, and you wake up three hours later lying on your stomach. What a tough gig that must have been, huh? His entire job consisted of saying, take a look at this, which is what he used to say to Mary-Kate Olsen in her dressing room. I love him like a perverted uncle who pays for lunch and then follows me into the men's room. <laughs> Al should have been called Blackjack because he hit on the Olsons when they were eight. He didn't stop till they were 21. <laughs> Is it true that you used to give Mary Kate acting lessons? He'd tell her, act like this never happened. <laughs> Bob Saget is a sick bastard. He has two daughters in college and three girlfriends in high school. <laughs> Most common stream of performing in Las Vegas, Nevada. Bob Saget dreams of performing in Hannah, Montana. <laughs> Bob has done a lot for this country. For eight seasons, half an hour a week, Full House kept pedophiles off the street. <laughs> In fact, three of them were on the show. I'm glad I got out of sitcoms before you killed them. You didn't just kill sitcoms, you raped them and left them for dead in a ditch. The other day, I, after all these years, I'd never met the Olsen twins. He introduced me to them. I said to him, how do I tell them apart? He says, Ashley swallows. Is there a, a room on the set where you would go in order to be the filthy mouth <laughs> individual? Because, of course, we can't say most of the words that are in this book, but there you are were some able words. to deal with it uh, on the set where that was also not allowed. I was a bit manic. Um, on the set and I was also even when there's kids like I'm doing book signings I'm doing one of the 92nd Street Y tonight um, and it's difficult if there's kids there I do stop myself because I am a dad it's a very it's a conflicted uh, thing it's, it's so I was on good behavior but sometimes I did some inappropriate uh, acts all right well let's talk about some of the training, some of the people that you've met who have encouraged you. Asses I can't even believe and doing, that. It was like, I was just looking and going, wow, he made a lot of money doing that. Well, <laughs> I, I watch it and I can't even think that I did it. That you, know? you did it, yeah. But then I, there's a thing in here about that. About It's called parenting my own and other people's kids. And they're making me tell this one story, which I can tell it right here as it is in the book. But yeah. I couldn't tell it. I've been having to tell it all, you know, buffered for oh, all right, this. I was right. on The View yesterday. They wanted me to tell it, and I told it. They, they um, it, it, instead of um, Ashley and Mary Kate, for Michelle, uh, as a three-year-old kid, they oh. gave me a doll to talk to for rehearsal, a rubber doll, not even plastic, like a test dummy. Like a, It looked like a, like a porn doll. It uh -huh. was just missing the, the stuff. Sure. You know, all those things. You ever done that? You ever been with one of those things? Well, not not one that I would hold that would mimic a, a four-year-old, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> good have, I, have I ever? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> all the kids that were on the show were very young then. Yeah. They were like, yeah. you know, sure. young, young. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. they were up in their schoolroom or in the trailer. And uh, I was there with just the crew. It was mostly guys, a couple of ladies. But I had the rubber doll. I'm in the bedroom. I have to do the, you, you know, Anthony, the, oh, the, yes. the, the morality play of that right, show. Right, the little speech. Shit, the size of music comes in. <laughs> you start talking. And so there wasn't at that moment, but that was the scene. So sure. I'm in her room, and I'm going, honey, you know, I'm holding the doll. I'm looking into a rubber doll's head. Now, I'm, you know, I was always a comedian since I was 17. So I said, I can't do this. Can't we just read it? Do I have to do this? I went, no, we need it for blocking. Cameras need to see it. You need to see it. So I'm like oh, talking boy. to it. You know, you can't do this. You can't do that. And then I just grabbed it, you know, and I just threw it on the bed. And I just started pretending, you know, that <laughs> oh I was. Oh, my God. Right. So the crew's watching this, and they're laughing their asses off. But I did it kind of slow. I didn't do it. You know, I took my time with uh -huh. it. I didn't want to do anything to offend anybody. <laughs> At first, I was like dancing with it, and then I was like, you know, laying in the bed talking to it. Well, then... Foreplay, sure. Yeah, exactly. 
And then um, and it was very lifelike. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what? Come on. That's great. Uh, you, you can cut this out, right? No. no so like you, so one of the moms is a punchline. So one of yeah. the moms oh. comes down, and this is all true, and she goes, uh, you got to stop this right now. This is on the monitors. The kids can see this in the classroom. The kids are watching you do this. <laughs> oh, and I'm literally just, I'm just going, you know, like Lenny and Mice and Men. It's not right. a good thing what I'm doing. Wow. And she, that's a good reference to it. This gets worse. Uh -huh. Sure is. Doing it. It's something wrong with me. And then, and then she said, the kids are watching this. Turn, I said, well, turn off the monitors. I'm working. Right. And that was my, my yeah, excuse what? was that I'm working. I, I considered that You're to be working. Instead it was of, work. And, and instead of stopping. I did stop after them she to turn came off down. the monitors. What but class? Kept, what classrooms? Uh, they would have uh, the kids on a sitcom or a oh, they're television getting, show. Okay. They're yeah, getting, yeah. They're yeah. getting uh, learning. Yeah, I thought mm -hmm. it was they're doing book learning. I wasn't sure yeah. it was some weird closed circuit thing with public schools or something. No, that would have been awesome, <laughs> that would've right? Been amazing. So, so. gigs around this great country, maybe in Vegas. It's kind of like Cirque du Soleil, but more like Jerk du Soleil, because <laughs> that's what they're going to do to each other. They walk into this guy's office, and the agent goes, well, what do you people do? And the, the father's like, watch us. The father's like ripping off his kid's clothes, and he takes his wife's bra, and he throws it off of her, and he rips off her underwear, and he takes some of her pubes with it. It's horrible, and there's a little bit of blood starts dripping down her leg, and, it, and, and they're all like, uh, it's like women and children are walking up here right now. <laughs> so the father's like totally undressing his whole family. And then, and then he gets out an epilady and he starts shaving his wife's back. His daughter's got like a little, uh, you know, she's having her, she's having her friend, you know, her, she's having her period is what she's having. So he just pulls out the tampon and throws it at the window and it sticks. And then they all just start fucking each other. They, they go down on each other in all different configurations. It's, it's, it's 69, it's 29 because the kids are young, it's nine. The father bends his kid over on the guy's desk and he's like taking him from behind. All of a sudden, and the kid can't take it, diarrhea starts squirting out of his ass, and he won't stop. It's like a hemorrhaging shit ass. The kid starts spinning in a circle because he can't control it. It's kind of like Curly in the studio. It's more Larry the Cheesy spinning it in a circle. The projectile shit is just flying out of him. It's going all over the room. It's like spin art. The room has got feces just dripping down. This poor kid is convulsing. He starts throwing up. You don't know whether to shit or puke in this room. That's how, <laughs> what the fuck am I doing? Then, wait, there's more. The mother clips all the nails off of one of her hands, puts it up her daughter, and starts working her like a puppet. She's spinning her on the hand, and while wow, this is going on, it's down, da down, da da down, da da down, da and they're skating in it, of course, and they're slipping, and with skating in your own feces and vomit and stuff, there's always gonna be pratfalls, because you, know, you can't help it, it's slapstick. So they're slipping in it, and they're covered in it, and their faces are covered in it. Then they all start singing We Are Family by Sister Sledge, which I think is offensive, because you don't want to mix incest with feces and racism. I think it's wrong and they shouldn't have done it. That's how I look at it. But you know what? An opening act's an opening act. So they continue. The father can't help himself, hauls back, smacks his wife right in the mouth, knocks all of her teeth out, sticks his fist, accidentally, mind you, down her toothless throat. Unbelievable, he actually fists her neck. <laughs> Trying to get her off of his hand, he starts flailing her around. He's a very strong man. Her body is flailing around, knocks all the kids against the wall, their heads hit the wall and they crack. They're not dead, they're fine. Don't even worry about them. Their fall was broken by all the feces that was in their hair. So then they start singing, make them laugh. <laughs> they start singing, make them laugh and be a clown. <laughs> And uh, the father's hemorrhoid pops, right? So he grabs it up, puts it on the end of his nose, like a clown, like Emmett Kelly, except he's covered in shit. Then they all start making out. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're, they're making, <laughs> all kidding aside, the adrenaline, all the feces all over the wall, there's shit, there's vomit, and they've been running around. You get all heated. The kids are not bleeding bad. They get up, they're walking around kind of aimlessly. All six members of the family, and they just start making out very deeply with each other, like that old lady in a racer head with that guy. And then, of course, they all start vomiting because it's offensive to be kissing your family. By the way, this would be a good time right now to take your pants off and get some lotion, because that's what happens next with this family. They just start jacking and... <laughs> Ugh, can I get a tape of this for my reel? I want to show this to my dad. I gotta finish the joke. They're all having sex with each other. And to me, if you're gonna have sex, by the way, with like a 14-year-old kid, you should be doing it in a prison. So you're right there. It's like one-stop shopping. 
So that's where this joke should have taken place in a prison, and then they should have all been, the whole family should have been put to death immediately. <laughs> but nope, nope, they're making out and having sex, and they all take each other from behind, which is impossible because if you have a big train, everybody's doing it to each other. The person at the end is pissed. So what happens next? Let's see. They've had a lot of sex. The room's covered in, in feces. The mother had a big boil on her back. That popped. <laughs> Tampon finally, by the end, just kind of falls off the window. It was hanging there the whole time. The music gets more carny-like. Boop, 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 boop. And they all start doing like a three-ring circus with each other's tits. <laughs> They're so gone right now. Oh, I'll tell you what happens right now. Father takes out some amyl nitrates. And he pops them. Like in The Professional, uh, you know, Gary Oldman. And he just, oh, he goes like that. And then he just starts fucking going nuts. He does like Fred Astaire did. He goes dancing up the wall. And then he just starts kicking everybody right in the dicks. He kicks his kids in the dicks. He kicks his wife in the dick. I didn't fully tell you the whole story. The whole family has dicks. The entire family, kind of like Hermie family. And I haven't mentioned piss yet. There is piss everywhere. Because by the way, if you're going to shit and have all these involuntary fluids come out of you, there's got to be piss. I just wanted to go on record saying that there's piss in the room as well. Because I think piss, by the way, it's kind of like if you ever watch the Food Network. <laughs> They're going to show this on other planets. <laughs> All right. The father's, he popped the name of nitrate. He's got smelling salts that he's been giving to his kids. <laughs> they keep passing out, you know, <laughs> the fact that their heads are bleeding and they've been anally raped in front of a, an agent yet. The room is just covered in piss and blood and hemorrhoids stuck to the father's nose. And they all go, ta-da! And the agent just looks at them and... Uh, and he says, well, that's, uh, that's, I've never seen anything like that before. And they, he goes, what do you, what do you uh, people call yourselves? And uh, the father says, the, uh, this is hard to do. It's hard to do the end of the joke. Because what he should have said is, the mouth-fisting, dirty, sick, hemorrhoid-infested, bloody vomit, shit, diarrhea-covered, pedophilic piece of shit, aristocrat family. But that is just dirt. And it's not funny. I ain't laughing. So I would say, um, you have to say the punchline, don't you? The whole family. They, they do this whole, you know, make them laugh, make them laugh. And they do a whole uh, cute little ta-da. Except two of the kids, they're half dead because they just had the shit kicked out of them. They're covered in, in feces. It's fucking horrible. And then they're like, and the father goes, what do you think? And the agent goes, wow. Uh, and he just kind of wipes a little bit of shit away from his eyes and kind of takes off a little bit of the blood that's on him. And he goes, what do you guys call yourselves? And the little kid, in his dying breath, the little kid that his father uh, kicked him in the head. <laughs> Let me do it differently. Hold on. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Ta-da! And the agent goes, wow, that's, uh, that's some act. What do you people call yourselves? And the father takes his fist out of his wife's mouth. It's been in there the whole time. He's like, and there's like a, a suctiony sound. And she's just got no teeth. And she's covered in, in diarrhea. <laughs> And she mouths the words, there is a cut. And then she dies. <laughs> dies. Just flat out dies. And the agent's like, that's 